Coming up on Oakdale Update, we're going to interview two of our city council members. Lori Polk, Quebec, will be here to talk about her role on the Ramsey Washington Suburban Cable Commission. And Bill Rasmussen will talk about his thoughts on his first few months on the city council. Stay tuned. Oakdale Update is straight ahead. Hello and welcome to Oakdale Update. I'm your host, Frank Arcello. This is the City of Oakdale's news and information program about your community. I'm now joined in the studio by City Council Member Lori Prokerbeck. Lori has been on the council since 1999 and is also the chair of the Ramsey Washington Suburban Cable Commission. A lot of titles there. Lori, thank you for joining us today. It's nice to have you. Again, I think you've been on once or twice before, correct? It, correct. It's been a while, though, it's and been thank a while. you. It's a pleasure yep. to be here. Okay, good. Uh, tell me a little bit about your background. Give me a little bit of your background. A little bit about myself. Um, I am a graduate of the University of Minnesota uh, in marketing, and I work in marketing and communications for CTV North Suburbs mm -hmm. in Roseville. Mm -hmm. um, I also, uh, as you mentioned, uh, serve on the Oakdale City Council and have been for 16 years now. 16. Uh, which blows my mind when I, I say it. I <laughs> remember when you first got I remember interviewing you when you first got it. Yes, yeah, that was, oh my gosh, yeah. long time ago. years ago. We were just Wasn't kids. Wasn't it though? We were just kids. We were, <laughs> true. So tell me before we go any further, how about, uh, how is it going on the City Council? You've been on there 16 years. Yes. You've seen a lot and you've done a lot. How's it going? It's going great. You know, as I tell people, I think the reason that a number of us stay on for a while mm -hmm. is that we get to work with such great people. Yeah. We are so fortunate to have a great group to work with, not only on the council, but also city staff and mm -hmm. the community. It's truly a pleasure and an honor to be there. Mm -hmm. You heard my last interview with Bill Rasmussen. I yes. said the same thing. He said the same thing must be true. It it's is true. true. Absolutely true. <laughs> and again, I say Craig Walder and, and our former mayor, everybody, they just have nothing but good things to say about yeah. everybody. Yes, and we're very lucky. Absolutely. Your fellow councilmen are good people too. Correct. Okay, you, did work, you do work for the Ramsey Washington County Cable Commission. Tell us about that, okay? All right. Well, um, the Cable Commission uh, is made up of 12 commissioners and each commissioner represents one of our 12 member cities. And I actually brought the list of cities mm -hmm. so that I wouldn't <coughs> leave anybody out. Um, our 12 member cities are Birchwood, Delwood, Grant, Lake Elmo, Matamidi, Maplewood, North St. Paul, Oakdale, Vadnais Heights, White Bear Lake, White Bear Township, and Willerney. Mm. And um, I would point out that it's a really interesting group to work with in that we have such different cities. When you look at a Willerney sure. with 500 people um, versus a Maplewood with a population of over 38,000. Mm -hmm. So of course each one has different needs and uh, we work as a group uh, to address all of those. Mm -hmm. So, and you also represent Oakdale on this commission too, correct? Correct. All right, what is that about? What is that, have, what is that all about? All right, well basically um, we administer the franchise agreement with the cable company um, and we monitor the cable channels and um, we work with uh, residents who have particularly difficult issues uh, that maybe we can help them address with the cable company so we we cover a multitude of things and in addition um, we um, administer the operation of a building such as this in this mm -hmm. wonderful studio mm -hmm. that we're in today. Mm -hmm. Now these pe now these representatives, okay, you you represent Oakdale. The man who represents Bir or person who represents Birchwood, they have fewer people. Do they have a different vote? Or yes, yep, do? there are weighted votes, oh, um, yeah. and so Oakdale, for example, um, carries about eighteen percent of the vote. Interesting. So that means Maplewood probably has more. 25 percent. 25 percent. Correct. Does this mean they have 25 percent of a vote on a particular issue? It does, yes. Interesting. 
Now, what is Comcast's role in this whole thing? Uh, well, Comcast is the local cable company and um, they have a franchise agreement with the um, Cable Commission, of course, representing those 12 cities. So um, I would mention that it's not an exclusive franchise. So if other uh, cable operators were interested in holding franchises as well, uh, we would certainly entertain those. Okay, so they would come to you, to the commission, and approach you. Now, that that's correct. another question I'm going to ask you a little later. Okay. We'll, we'll get into that. Great. But uh, what, do you, what do you do at these commission meetings? Uh, well, we... Um, and how often do you meet? And oh, of course. Uh, we meet as a full commission every other month, and then um, the month that we are not meeting as a full commission, uh, the executive board meets. Um, so as chair, um, it's myself, our treasurer, our vice chair, and our secretary that meet on the off months. What do you talk about at these meetings? Uh, we talk a lot about um, the budget, about policies. Um, we recently, um, at our last meeting, approved um, our annual grants. Uh, we offer grants to local producers to help them uh, produce their own shows. Uh, so our budget is about $20,000 each year. Mm -hmm. And this past year, we gave out 19. Grants. Okay, the directors you're talking about, What is that the average citizen that could... Correct. Yep. Local producers. Just, you know, might be your neighbor next door who um, creates a community show. What topic? What, what, what could the topic be? It could be just about anything. Um, we've had um, shows that have covered um, the history of our communities. We've had um, news shows, uh, talk shows. Uh, the full range. So where does this program fit into this scheme of things? Um, Oakdale Update would uh, fit under uh, governmental in that it's um, yourself, of course, working mm -hmm. with the city of Oakdale. So am I employed or do I answer to the city of Oakdale probably or, or could I just about do anything I want in this program? Um, Within reason, <laughs> within FAA rules, I suppose, huh? Uh, yep. Uh, it would, of course, not have or should not be libelous or slanderous. Um, and I, I'm very confident that you would uh, yeah, try not, not uh, go beyond any lines in I these categories. Try, I try. <laughs> it gets hard, but I try. So does that mean that if my neighbor next door wants to have a show about grass cutting, he could get on the air and, and get this put together? Is that that correct? is correct. Yep. And, and as I mentioned, we do have a grant um, program in place where he could also apply for a grant. That doesn't mean that um, he would get one, but because um, it's a competitive process. Mm. But uh, we have that program as well to encourage local producers really? to create could programming. You, could you tell me some of the local programs that are produced in this manner? Oh, gosh. Um, now you're putting me on the spot. Um, I'm thinking over the years we had uh, one particular program about... Um, PGA golf courses oh, throughout the state, actually. I think I remember that. Yes. Yeah, which was a really um, neat show. Yeah. And uh, like I mentioned, we've had um, a number of uh, shows about the history of our communities mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, talk shows, um, shows that um, discuss the arts. So just about anything. Wonderful. That's good. Yeah. Um, and where does this money come from for for that, for the grants and all that. Where does all this money come from? Great question. Um, when the cable company initially came to the metro area, decades ago now, um, they wanted to run their cables um, in the city's public rights of way. So the cities um, banded together in geographic groups. Um, so for us, it's our 12 cities in the Ramsey, Washington counties. Suburban Cable Commission, um, but they joined together uh, with a joint powers agreement and then formed a um, franchise agreement with that cable company so that in exchange for the use of those public rights of way, they would supply an operating grant and an equipment grant. This is Comcast you're talking about, correct? Correct. Or at, actually, way back when it was a different cable company, sure. but okay. today it's Comcast. Sure. Um, but yeah, so in exchange for um, <coughs> running cables in the public rights of way, they supply um, operating and equipment grants. Mm. And they then go to fund um, the channels that our local programs 
Aeron and um, this facility and staff and um, everything you see here today. Mm, interesting. I'm learning all kinds of stuff. Oh, today. good. That's Wonderful. the idea. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of Comcast, I've heard that they and, and Time Warner were talking about a merger. How, how is that going, or what have you heard about that? Well, just recently, actually, um, the merger failed um, because um, Comcast and Time Warner are the two largest um, cable and broadband suppliers in the country. Mm -hmm. And um, they needed approval from the FCC to merge, and the FCC indicated that uh, they would not be approving that merger uh, for um, or due to the risk to not only competition but also innovation. And um, when Comcast heard that that approval would not be coming forth, then they um, withdrew their application. Mm. And uh, that merger is no longer going to take place. But how that um, affected us at the Cable Commission is that when they talked about uh, forming this merger, they then, um, under federal guidelines, would have been too large. Mm -hmm. So they needed to um, spin off some areas of the country, the Midwest being one of them, um, and our Twin Cities metro area. So that was actually going to spin off to a new company. Uh, which was um, at one point named Midwest Cable and then was going to be called Greatland Connections. Mm -hmm. And that meant that our franchise, which was with Comcast, then needed to be transferred to the new company. So we had to approve that transfer, not only at the Cable Commission, but then each of our 12 cities mm -hmm. had to approve that as well. So we went through that whole process, but then at the end of the day, the merger didn't happen anyway. Interesting. So, Interesting. so now we're just back to normal. <laughs> okay. I, and I misspoke for I said the FAA. I meant the FCC. I know you did. I got confused. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Uh, now, another thing I've also heard that CenturyLink is l l looking to get into the cable franchise business, right? That is correct. And it's it's exciting that, um, you know, there may be competition, uh, whether it's CenturyLink or, or another company, because our franchises are not exclusive. So there can be multiple franchise holders. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, they've indicated an interest, and we'll be um, holding a public meeting about that in the upcoming months, and maybe our residents will have another option. Now, all these cities that are involved in this, do they pay you, the, the, your Ramsey County, Washington County Commission, do they pay you to have these shows? Uh, no, they do not. Say like a program like this, this is government oriented. Uh, nope, nope, they do not pay for that, no. Do, do we pay, do, does this facility pay the city to do this? Um, nope, it doesn't work that way either. Um, uh, as I understand it, the staff here at Ramsey Washington mm -hmm. primarily does the work, and then the city, um, a city staff member, also um, helps with some of the planning. But um, it's a collaboration uh, between the two. Now, one other, our last question, we'll run out of time here, but uh, Oakdale, the city of Oakdale, is ready to upgrade all their televisions for the council meetings and that kind of thing. That's and right. if I remember correctly, it's been about 2,000 years since they've done anything. <laughs> anything? It's probably been a good 10. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, what's, what's going on there? Well, actually, um, that has to deal with the Cable Commission as well because uh, we um, have allocated an equipment fund so that our member cities can upgrade their equipment, and that money will be available um, this year so that we can purchase new cameras because of course everything is HD now sure. um, so we'll be able to purchase new cameras and um, some new equipment like a switcher and other um, items that are um, needing to be replaced mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely something that we're looking forward to. Do, do all of these 12 cities that you mentioned do they come to this studio here and do their broadcasting? Um, the residents of the cities? Well the if there's a program like this one, oh. do they come They come here and do all their... Some do, or some um, create their programming on location. So they may create it from a city hall or a fire okay. station or a police department. I've seen all of those scenarios. Really interesting. Yeah. So then they bring cameras in to these particular spots. Correct. Do these people here that work here, do they go to these spots and do the filming? Yes. They do. Interesting. Lori, we are out of time, but All God, right. God it, we I think we covered a lot of good ground here I today. I think we did, too. It's been a pleasure. You did a fine job, too. I am just hardly 
confused at all anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did a good job, Lori. Thank you for joining Great. us today. Thank you, Frank. Okay. It's almost time for a short break, but first, here's our trivia question. The Oakdale Farmers Market is scheduled to start on Wednesday, June 10th at the Walton Park in the vicinity of Hadley Avenue and 16th Street. The Oakdale Farmers Market serves as a venue for consumers to purchase locally grown products that promote healthy lifestyles while sustaining local agriculture. Our trivia question is, what was the first year for this event? Was it 2006, 2008, or 2010? We'll have the answer later in the show. It's time for a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of Oakdale Update in just a minute. Extra DWI enforcement is now being served on Minnesota roads. Don't be what you drink. Welcome back to Oakdale Update. Bill Rasmussen is a former volunteer of the year for the city of Oakdale and has served on a number of committees for the city. This past fall, he was elected to his first term on the city council. Bill, thanks for joining us on thanks, Oakdale Frank. Update today. Thanks for having me. So you have been, a uh, well, let's talk a little bit about what. Give me a little bit of your background. Well, I'm from St. Paul, of course, but uh, I worked engineering. I uh, was a senior managing technician mm -hmm. for 42 years. For what company? I worked for Carly Engineering in the beginning for 30 years, and then I went over to BRW. Okay. That's so you uh, now you live in Oakdale, correct? Mm -hmm. And you've been here for how many years? Been here 21 years now. 21 years, okay. Mm -hmm. So um, now you've, you've done about everything, every committee and everything there is to do out in Oakdale. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the committees and commissions you were on. Well, I, I got involved in some of the park rebuilding and uh, the band shell and the new, uh, new um, Discovery Center. We did, the, we did the park at Waldron. We did that a few years ago. Then, of course, the schoolhouse. And we, you know, Jim Morphy and I did the schoolhouse. And then we had the Veterans Memorial. So we're still selling bricks on that, pavers on that. So mm -hmm. I kept pretty busy on things. I just love doing it. That's the sure. type of work I was in. So it was really enjoyable. So I was going to ask. So your background made it pretty good, uh, right. easy for you to do, right? Yeah, I did. You know, I worked at all the uh, all the sewer and waters and everything for the uh, John Rose Oval and out the fairgrounds at Plaza, the Carousel Plaza. I did that for them. And so I've had some very interesting jobs, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed it. I know the uh, Oakdale uh, Historical Society, and you helped with that, uh, putting that schoolhouse that's up at uh, the Nature Center now. Mm -hmm. That was right. a pretty good, uh, that was a pretty good commitment, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it took Jim and I over two years to redo that, but yeah. it turned out beautiful. And you guys did most of the work. I know I was right. president at the time, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, but you guys did most of the work. Of course, you were both retired, so that right. helped a bit. They wouldn't let us climb, the city wouldn't let us climb the roof, so... So uh, oh, Butch right? and I did the roof and just, not, for, just for safety purposes. Right. <laughs> okay, now you've been on the, uh, you just made it on the council this last time. Right. Uh, you you won out by a pretty good margin. What do you suppose that was? I think everybody knows me and they know I've worked hard for the city. Um, I've taken the city to my heart. I'm working in all these different towns and I just fell in love with Oakdale. So when we moved here and I just, I really like everybody. I just found the parks needed help and so I thought, well, I might as well get into it now because I really enjoy doing that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was really nice. And when the council, council seat came up, you know, when, when uh, Kent Dotas retired from it, I thought there's a chance for me to, to run because I just left him alone because they were doing a good job. I wasn't going to sure. go and upset the apple cart or anything. So sure. that was my chance to get in there and, you know, and get on the council. Mm -hmm. I love it. I mm -hmm. just... It's great. You know, it's funny you should say that about the people in Oakdale, uh, mm -hmm. Craig Walder and Carm Serac. And right. Anybody I've interviewed on, they all just say how they love the people in Oakdale. Yep. Isn't that just interesting? I mean, you'd think there'd be some bad apples around here, wouldn't you? Yeah, but they're, you know, going to the farmer's market, you meet all them people and, mm -hmm. you know, things, different things that are functioning going on. We go down to Denny's Lot or up to Shrill's and you're always meeting somebody that says hello, you know, they're all friendly. Mm -hmm. And that's what's nice about it. It's uh Really enjoy it. It's and I think Carm and, and Craig, too, they didn't get these middle-of-the-night phone calls or, you know, nope. bad things happening or people hollering at them for different things. Yeah. And Okay, so when you decided to run for the council, did you see problems at all that you felt that you might come in and, and kind of work at? No, I didn't, I didn't really see any problems. I knew there's things we have to get done. 
you know, like the re, uh, revitalization of some of the, the neighborhoods, and get them going on that. And, and I was worried about the seeing all these little stores that are becoming empty because they couldn't afford the, the rent and everything else. And I mean, I'd, I was kind of worried about them. I, you know, the mom and pop stores, I'd like to keep them going if we can because they get pushed out with everything else. But uh, there were so many things interesting when I was on the planning commission. You know, like the market up there, we redid that. hy V's coming in there now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's really some good things. But uh, we still got a lot of things to do, and there's land to develop yet. Mm -hmm. So, it's, you know, we're trying to keep that going. So that's yeah. interesting, because that was going to be my next question. Down the road, where do you, where do you really want to go? I know uh, Sissy, a new council woman, mm -hmm. um, her thing is the facade of Oakdale. You know, she wants to make these buildings look a little bit better and right. make it just more attractive. Mm -hmm. and bring them up to date and that kind of thing. So is that your thoughts too? Yes, exactly. And uh, she's pretty sharp on that stuff. I was mm -hmm. really surprised for a young woman. She, she's very bright. And, and very smart girl, isn't yep. she? Yes. And I'm really enjoying her. And mm -hmm. I think Lori and everybody else is too. So, How are you getting along with the rest of the staff at Oakdale? How's that? Oh, I love the staff. You couldn't find a better staff. I worked in all them 40 some cities, you know, a different time, worked with different staffs and Oakdale just comes out above, above everybody else. I've had some choices like Burnsville and Shoreview were real good to me, but uh, Oakdale staff is unreal. Mm -hmm. They're artistic, they, they know what's going on, and the guys are so nice to talk to. They're just friendly as can be. Mm -hmm. And before I even became council, just being on the, on the uh, volunteer committee and that, they were always friendly with me and everybody else. So uh, that, that makes it easy to do things. Sure, it does. Now I know I'm on the EDC commission and uh, we, do th we do things and we come up with questions perhaps, mm -hmm. and we bring them to the council or to the uh, city administrator, whoever, right. and they don't ever look at you and laugh. I mean, they just no. think they say, you know, they really appreciate what you're doing. Isn't that correct? Right. And then it goes through the council eventually, so mm -hmm. it'll be you. So what are your goals in the future here? You uh, you're, you got a two-year term, is that correct? Four-year. Four-year term. Four-year term. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, we'll see what happens when I, when I get up done with my four years, but I really like it. I, I wouldn't mind staying on there. You know, I'm going to be about 83 then, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, still, as long as my health is good, I have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. And we really enjoyed it. And my wife does too. You know, she's getting involved in it with the Lions and, and up to Legion. And so, I, you know, it's been, been great. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, it, I couldn't find a better place to work. Yep, I guess. And, um, <clears throat> and you know, and you can always look around. Some of the neighboring communities seem to have some issues yeah. all the time. Isn't right. that true? Yep. Uh, Luckily, Oakdale just doesn't have, seem to I've have I've seen that. that go through, you know, years ago with the sewer and the water and some of these new communities that were starting up. Mm -hmm. and I won't mention the towns, but mm -hmm. they had their, their problems too. Mm -hmm. But uh, everything at Oakdale since I've been here, 21 years, everything has gone really smooth. Yep. You know, in council and everything. And they, I used to get frustrated with them at the planning commission. We'd think one thing and the council do the other. So mm -hmm. I'd talk to Carm about it. and. and uh, Carmen say, well, that's what you guys are here for. He says, so you tell us what you want, and then we can decide how it's going to work between us and, the, and what you guys came up with. So sure. I thought it was a good idea. Okay. Well, Bill, I'm glad you're happy doing what you're doing, and that, that makes a big difference, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. It's good reason to get up in the morning, right? Oh, boy, is it ever. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're about out of time here, so I want to thank you for joining us in Oakdale Update and also for doing your council and all the volunteer stuff. You were volunteer of the year too when you were, right, weren't you? Right, 2006. 2000, okay. Yep. So good for you. Yeah, okay, you. Bill, thanks for being with us yeah, today. Thank you, Frank. Okay. Enjoyed it. It's now time for this month's code enforcement reminder, which is about parking by mailboxes. Please remember to not park within 10 feet of any mailbox in the city. This is especially important during the summer when there are lots of events such as graduation parties and garage sales. Another reminder is about trash containers. Except on collection day, please store your garbage can and recycling containers on the side or back of the house or garage or inside a garage or shed, just not in front of your property. And our final reminder is to please remember that feeding wildlife or waterfowl is not allowed. Bird feeders need to be at least five foot above the ground or structure. There's a couple of exciting events coming up soon. Summerfest starts on June 25th with the annual parade and runs through June 27th. Events include a medallion hunt, BMX stunt show, a concert, a car show, boxing, and fireworks extravaganza. See the city's website for more details. 
Another popular annual event is a community picnic. This will be on Thursday, June 18th, starting at 11.15 a.m. at the North Fire Station at 5000 Hadley Avenue North. The free picnic lunch and fun activities are sponsored by the City and the Oakdale Area Chamber of Commerce. We're just about out of time, but first let's answer a trivia question. We asked you, what was the first year for the Oakdale Farmers Market? The correct answer is B. The first farmers market held in the city was 2008. Individuals can purchase Minnesota grown produce and more each Wednesday from 2 to 6 p.m. starting June 10th through October 7th. It's a great place to pick up a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables, a bouquet of flowers, a loaf of bread, dessert, and more. In addition, each week, visitors have a chance to register for a gift basket giveaway and to learn a variety of interesting things at the community booth. That's all we have time for. For everyone at the City of Oakdale, thanks for watching.